and the blindfolds go on. Yep. Getting this underway. Good luck, gentlemen. All right, I will give you the countdown. We're going to start in five, four, three, two, one, go. All right. So here we are, starting things off with Glass Joe. Uh, Glass Joe, even if you can't see him, is pretty simple. The strat is nigh on identical to the vision strat. Um, we're going to be using a buffer strat here. Uh, if you missed the description during Super Punch-Out, basically a buffer is a uh, string of actions that you can string together frame perfectly in Punch-Out. You press the button, release, repress the button, and input comes out on the first frame. Yep. So with this string of inputs they're doing right here, it guarantees the knockdown when he comes back from that at 40 seconds. Yep. Sinister off to a slight early lead. He's actually using a slightly newer strat that guarantees the 42 flat. Uh, it's very recently developed. Dollard went with what he knew there for... Looks like he's getting the 42.25. Yep. So. And it should be noted what's going to be slightly different since this is a race being done in real time is that usually in Punch Out, you only care about the timer. So there's going to be some randomness with the uh, countdown from Mario and the RNG with the fake get up. So that does play a, a bit of a role in this race. And that 42 flat tied world record, by the way. Yep. So the order of the day, is, as Chip just talked about, is buffer strats, and then the other one obviously is audio cues, and that's why we, uh, we're going to keep the sound pretty low so these guys can focus on what they're trying to accomplish, which is play a game blindfolded. I don't know about you, but I couldn't tie my shoes blindfolded, let alone fight Mike Tyson. I don't have a buffer for tying my shoes, no. Should work on that. Okay, uh, Von Kaiser is another relatively simple fight, even without vision. The only real X factor is in phase two, you can get a lucky random star. Uh, neither of them got it, so they're both on pretty level footing here. Yep. Oh. Sinister did take one uppercut, so we had to wait a little bit longer there. The refill he gets on the third no third get up is uh, very small, though, yep. so fairly small time loss. Yep. It's still a race, people. Yep. Refills are actually a big deal because. Part of how you adjust your strategies in Punch Out are you look at the refill they got, which many of them are random, and that's yet another luxury neither runner has in this, so they have to be ready to adapt if they think someone's about to go down and they don't hear the knockdown sound. Have to be ready for every eventuality. Yep. So right now Zeller with a slight lead, but there's a long ways to go and multiple pitfalls throughout this and run. Pretty much every fight from here on out is going to have ways for time losses to happen. Here you're seeing a slight difference in strats. <laughs> uh, Zeller going with um, a buffer strat to get to the uh, bonsai punches. Yep. Sinister's got his uh, own little thing he's developed here. Yep, so... Piston Honda will always do his bonsai punch at one minute into the fight, so that's a way to get an easy knockdown. And then, and then they get up on his one count. Any fighter that gets up on a one count is immediately put back down by an uppercut. Yep. Uh, you see Sinister there getting up to three stars um, because he will dodge star punches until you get to the three stars. Almost got him before the bonsai yeah, that punches. that was really close. Sinister's going to take a slight lead here after the uh, slightly more risky strat, but it pays off. All right. All right. And now uh, while well, we take a bike ride, um, the thing to talk about here is um, random factors in this game. There's a lot of random factors in this game, so there's nothing, you can't buffer strat for every eventuality. Um, most of the buffer strats are based around the most common pattern. Like There's a lot of instances where it's like 75% of the time this fighter's going to do this, but the other 25% of the time they'll do something else. Yep. And it's a case of they have to be very on point with their audio cues and just their overall knowledge of the game. And these are two of the best in the business. They really know what's going on with every asset aspect yep. of every fight. Yep. Uh, but there's a lot of rolling with the punches when you can't see what's going on. No pun intended there. For Ascension, would be proud. So, one of the most infamous buffer strats is about to be shown here in the Don Flamenco fight. And developed by our very own Zallard One. Yep. So, this star Quick that dodge. Sinister gets is frame perfect. There's yep. only one frame you could throw the punch and hit that, but 
Salard discovered that if you do a dodge into a quick dodge and then just hold jab, you get yourself your free star. Both of them get it, which yep. is good. And uh, if you knock down Don one twice before the one minute mark, he stays down. He stays down. I made it with a little room to spare there, Sinister yeah, did. Yeah, so. a little bit of a little, bit a little fine, just a little fine. Yeah. So 18 for both of them, really good fights. And up next, if we were doing a non-blindfolded run, would be where Punch-Out begins. Yeah, this is uh, Gatekeeper number one in the vision runs as King Hippo coming up here. Um, yep. Actually blindfolded, one of the easier fights in the game. Yep. Um, now both of them are going to be starting out with a uh, buffer strat here to, in the event he opens his mouth at the first opportunity to score that hit. Yep. It's a case where they save about 10 seconds if they get it, but they lose about mm, a little bit yeah. versus... So Sinister actually did get the... he was going to open, but unfortunately just didn't quite time it right. Another thing to note about Hippo is um, the ideally you're looking for the three cycle on him. Yep. Um, typically you can only get eight punches in on his belly when he um, when you get the mouth punch. Yep. Uh, but you time it just right, you can get the ninth, and it takes 27 hits to put him down. Yep. And Hippo notoriously stays down on the first stop, knocked down no matter what. Yep. Only character in the game without a get-up animation. So right now, Sinister's going to take a decent-sized lead here. Um, Zalik missed his first opportunity to hit the mouth punch, and uh, going to cost a lot of time. Losing a cycle on Hippo takes a long time with blindfold strats because you yeah, have so to use the buffer to yep. get anywhere. Have Should to. get the knockdown here? Yes, okay. There it is. So Great Tiger in Vision Percent is uh, one of the easiest fights in the whole game. Um, Even blindfolded, he's um, still one of the more simpler fights. He's 100% yep. scripted. If you get off script with him, though, problems can arise. Yep. So hopefully uh, Sinister keeps it together here. Yep, this is a very snowball-y fight. But the uh, basic idea here is just to get the one knockdown without getting hit. Get as many stars off the flashing turban opportunities as you can. And yep, put him nice. down. Yep, he's got two stars. He's going to get up on a one count two times. Sinister's just holding start right now. Yep. And waiting for the fight to end. Yep, That's uh, those are the buffer strats we talked about. So once Great Tiger was knocked down, Sinister could literally just hold the start button, and the star punch is going to come out on the first frame every time, no matter what. Looks like Zallard is uh, similarly in good position here. Yep. So all intents and purposes here, on to bowl one for both of them. Yep. Bowl one is where things start to get a little more dicey in the blindfold. Yep, you know. this is where the uh, variance in buffer strats, it's um, really the 75-25 mm -hmm. I mentioned earlier is very accurate for Bull. Um, he has a 75% chance to throw hooks, but he has a 25% to throw rolling jabs once we get into phase two. Yep. Uh, phase one is not a true buffer strat because there's one very slight pause on the last punch, but everything up to that last punch is 100% scripted and will work every time. Yep. Slight pause, boom, he's yep. down. Great phase one for Sinister. There's a lot of trust being put into these players' muscle memory for a lot of these fights because that's all they literally have to go on besides the audio and the buffer strats. Well, you've got two of the best in the business. These guys know this game just a little bit. Yeah, there's maybe been a few hours put in by these guys. Yeah, just when a comes couple. To punch out. I'm sure they were cramming a little bit before here. <laughs> Very nice second phase from Sinister. Yeah, now the primary goal during here is to uh, get him down before the bull charge. Yes. Because as you can imagine, uh, stopping bull charge blindfolded, there's no buffer for that. Because nope. the amount of time he waits and delays is completely random. And they also have to listen closely to figure out whether or not he did three or two hops back. script here, but yep. close enough to the end, it shouldn't matter. Yep. There we go. Good recovery from Sinister there. Salad has a chance to make up a little bit of time here if he can stay on script and doesn't get uh, too overwhelmed by the RNG. Very nice. So Salad's going to pick up a little bit of time there. All right. Both coming into uh, bike riding part two, significantly harder than bike riding part one. Yeah. <laughs> it's nighttime, man. You can't see as well. I know. Wait a minute. Yeah. Hard mind. It's hard mode, so... <laughs> I guess while we're in this little interlude here, um, a lot of the reason that this has become a much more popular and focused 
con kind of thing would be um, the efforts of uh, one Jack Wedge. Yes. Uh, if you're familiar with the uh, Mike Tyson's um, Punch Out Blindfolded video that came out, if you heard about that a couple months back, he was the guy who did it and he developed a lot of the buffer strats mm -hmm. that are being used um, for the purpose of the blindfold because for vision they're inferior to what you can do when you right. can see, but they're very, very reliable. And it's kind of stating the obvious, but what makes these these runs possible is that these guys have such immense game knowledge, and it's it's not like a run where you kind of learn a robotic pattern and go in and, and trust your muscles. Like you have to know everything about every fight for what can possibly come up. So again, seeing similar buffer strats out of both players to start off piston here. Using the bonsai charge for the knockdown. Yep. Pretty much a must do for a piston two and blindfolded. So this is a guaranteed knockdown on piston yep. two. He will not get back up from this. Easy peasy. Yep. All right, now we come up to uh, gate part two for the vision runs, and uh, definitely a problem point for the blindfolded yes. runs. So it is very, very, very random. Yep. You're pretty much hoping he goes into uppercuts. Um, the same basic strategy applies. There's that glitch with Soto where you can kind of lock him in place when he goes into uppercuts. But seen right there on Sinister's side, wow. and after that one uppercut puts him down yep. every time. Yep, it's a good start for Sinister. We'll see if Zaller can follow suit here. Oh, that's where the problems with Soto arises once yep. you take a hit. So you notice basically what they're doing there is an option select once they get to that point in the fight. They're holding their up block so that if, Zaller, or if uh, Soda does a jab, they'll block it. But if they don't hear the immediate block animation, they know it's safe to counter the uppercut and then get the star. Lots of hooks being thrown right now, which isn't what neither person wants to deal with. So All right. Zaller's second knockdown. And Sinister just got his third, I believe. Yep. Zaller's got a little bit of time to make up. A 117 Soda blindfolded is incredibly strong, so yes. Sinister uh, playing very well there. So now that's really bad luck for Zaller. He's got to get back on script or he's going to be in real trouble here. He's just going to take the knockdown to reset everything at this point. All right. Now, while a lot of the buffers in the game are attributable to uh, Jack Wedge or uh, Zaller on the couch there, uh, the one they're using for this fight comes from a uh, Tyson runner named Summoning Assault. And uh, basically, Ball 2 is kind of similar to Bald 1 in that there's some random elements. Um, instead of uh, hooks and rolling jabs, you're looking at hooks and ear rubs. And they're really, really hoping not to get the ear rub pattern. Yep. Ugh. He's going to take a knockdown yep. here is the plan. Yep. There's really not a lot Sinister could have done about that. Sometimes getting knocked down is intentional, not necessarily 100% intentional. Ideally, he wouldn't have gotten hit and wouldn't right. feel the need to get knocked down, but for where he was at in the fight, it was easiest for him to get back on track yep. by getting knocked down. And Zallard has ended up in the exact same yep. situation, actually. Yeah, Zallard looks like he's... Oh, yep, he's gonna go ahead and take the knockdown. Probably the smart play. Basically, from here on out, all these fights are going to be incredibly difficult. Um, especially with just how much more optimized the blindfolded strats are. They're doing things that are much more risky than when you saw Sinister do this run two years ago. Got, Got it. Nice. Blindfolded. Blindfolded bolt charge counter, not an easy thing. No. We shattered it out the last time around, so very nice yep. to get it there. Yep. Crowd's not wrong for wanting to clap, but indeed. Yep. So Zallard's gonna take his second knock down here. So Zallard is is gonna have to clutch out. Oh no, that was his third. Ooh. I did not notice the second. I didn't catch the second one no, either. No, I was watching Sinister uh, deal with the bull charge, so. Fortunately at this fight it's just a straight rematch. Yeah. So some of the fights if you lose you actually get sent back a fighter or more, depending on where you are in the run, so um, Obviously, Zallard's going to be a good ways behind now, but it's not unrecoverable, especially with the fighters left to come for Sinister. Okay. Moving focus back to um, Sinister here, we got Don 2 coming up. Don 2's all about counter punches, um, but he's very, very heavily scripted in round one. Um, so a lot of this is um, almost more muscle memory than anything right. on Sinister's side. And... Problem... I think Sinister's just going to take a knockdown. Take the knockdown. Missed, uh, 
it, the big thing about blindfolded is once you lose track of where you are once, especially in these later fights, it can be almost impossible to get back. Center's is just going to reset. Yep. Take the intentional restart. Yep. So no 14 and 0 today, but a 14 and 1 is still alive and well. Yep. And still very, very, very impressive. Yes. We get to see uh, Spanish Adam Sandler dance around a little bit more. <laughs> We'll see if uh, Sinister can start the fight off his intended way this time. Get back on track. All right. Zallard with the knockdown on the bull charge. Very nice. Excellent. Still has one more to go, but he's getting there. So Dawn 2 in the vision um, run is one of the most random in the entire game because you can either save or lose a bunch of time based on how many random stars you get out of him and amongst a, among a lot of other factors that he can throw at you so they try to minimize the randomness with their buffer strats and stuff but again this is still a very difficult fight looks like Zellard's going to go to round two on bowl this time That's knocked down two for Sinister. That might be one. That might actually, actually be one, yeah. So there's a good chance Sinister's gonna have to go to round two with Dawn. Well, not a good chance, but he has to to round two. Pretty much guaranteed at this point. He might just take the KO again, actually. Because in round two. Oh, nope. Gonna back on his feet. In fairness, Sinister might not know how close he is to round two either at that there's point. There's that. Zaller can have to deal with bull charge again. Got it. That was All a right. really, really long delay, too. It's, it's hard to not get antsy, so very nicely done. And the thing with Don, too, is he goes into this uh, defender phase, and there's really nothing you can do to knock him out of it, except just throw punches at his face and hope he retaliates. Yep. And the other big problem there is that he's wasting a lot of your hearts, so it's very easy to get into yep. fatigued mode like Sinister is now, so he just has to wait it out. And again, that's another big factor. Blindfold is oftentimes you don't know you're in fatigue mode if you're off, off your script because you just go to throw a punch and nothing happens. Right. So a quick reaction is part. Looks like Zalard's finally going to get pulled down. Uh, I believe that was number yep, three. There yes. it is. Okay, okay so. so good job to Zalard. And uh, with uh, Sin uh, in round two on Don 2 here, he actually has a very good chance to make up a significant chunk of time yep. with the one kick. Yeah, there is a very strong chance Sinister could get pushed to round three. It's going to depend entirely on what Don does defending, and right now, again, Sinister a little bit off track, has to wait for a jab. Yep. Don has gone into his uh, aggressive pattern now, yep. which he's a little harder to predict than he is in round one. Yep. So Sinister's going to round three no matter what here, so Zallard has a real chance to get back into this if he can have a really strong Don 2. And it looks like he's up to a flying star here. Gets the buffer strap to dodge the jail. There's a star. Yep. Okay, Zallard looking. There's. We could make this a very close race very quickly, depending on how these rounds go. This is one of those... Uh, great examples of just how much knowledge these guys have to have to do this run because in a normal punch out run you don't wouldn't ever care or know what Don does past round one because you just wouldn't be there you'd reset just hollered on that down two already at 137 so if he can finish off this phase three either Zallard could take the lead here alternating strat to yep. uh, get extra damage in. So the more punches you can get in during this defense phase of Don 2, the better. Oh. No, I'm not cooperating. Zallard's really close to ending this. And Zallard's going to take the lead. And then, don't know if Don will stay down on this for Sinister or not. We're probably looking for one more knockdown, but he was yep. able to get himself a star. Yeah, so, so Sinister has a chance to end this here. And there yep, got to do it. All right. All right. And so we're pretty wow. close to even coming into Sandman. Uh, now, Sandman has the distinction of being the 
pretty much the one of two fights where you can do absolutely everything right in round one and still end up in round two. Yep. Um, it's because basically there is no reliable buffer strat for the Dreamland Express, the string of triple uppercuts. Yep. Um, that happens to do with the way, it has a unique way that um, the event counter for it is happening. Basically every punch in the game has like an unseen counter going on in the background for when it's going to come out. And usually it's just that counter goes to zero and then the move comes out. For the Dreamland Express, it has two separate counters. One for his little like weight build up before he goes into the animation and then one for the delay before the attack actually starts. And with those two factors, they have yet to come up with a reliable buffer strat to deal with it. Yep. Normally, ideally, what they would want to do is set up um, having Little Mac get knocked down because Dreamland Express is the fastest way to put damage on Sandman. But again, with the unreliability of doing it blindfolded, you won't see them employ that strat here, at least not on purpose. Yep, any knockdowns you see are strictly unintentional. Hopefully we don't get it. So Everything out of... Dreamland Express, we'll see if Zeller can... Very nice. through. Very nice. So now, and dodging the Dreamland Express is huge because you can put a lot of damage on Sandman after getting past that. Yep. And after this, he's in a phase where straight buffer strats allow you to finish the job, yep. so... Zallard has a chance for a round one knockdown, but it's going to depend on what random refill comes up and, and how well he can deal with this final phase. Yeah, it's not a guarantee at this point, but I would call it a solid chance here. He got a solid refill, so and looking missing. Sinister's um, also in there with a chance, definitely. Sinister wants to see Sandman get up on three. Eight would be a good chance of the bad refill, so... And it looks like he's getting the eight count. Yeah, so this uh, this could be just a case where both fought, both players have done this fight exceptionally, but bad luck may cause Sinister to be forced into round two here. And if uh, if he's forced to go to round two, Zalik's going to have a commanding lead. But there's this guy waiting at the end of the whole thing who yep. might have a thing or two to say about it. And it's going to be close. It's going to be very close. Almost. Very nice. nice. Very nice. Very nice. I know, I want to clap too. <laughs> yep. We feel your pain. <laughs> We're almost there, guys. All right, so now we have Mr. Flexpex. Yep. All right. So Macho is a technical fight Very without the blindfold. Um, this is the one I don't actually know a lot about the buffer strats that have been found from Macho. The actual honest. buffers themselves, it's mostly just to get the stars yeah. is what you're looking at here. Um, Macho also has a weird mechanic where after he takes two star punches, he's coded not to, to start dodging them just every time. And the only way to reset that is to build up to three stars. So being able to get these star punches at every available opportunity is very important. Very nice, Zalor with only one extra dodge on the spin punch. Zalor with Zalor. a strong second knockdown there, so looking good. Sinister got, unfortunately, a bit of a guard there, so he's going to have to back up. Very nice. And that's and it. Zallard's got it. Zallard is through. So Zallard going to be moving on to the big man himself. Alright. Oh, Sinister Ooh. got dodged on the star punch, which made his uh, buffer to dodge spin punch really tight windowed. Unfortunately, did not get it there. Okay, now Sinister with the nine count strat there, yep. highly risky, but that gets him back to full health, which um, uh, the refills are also affected by how much health that you have. So yep. you, getting up on the nine count ensures you get a full health bar out of the deal, yep. which keeps the uh, refills where you want them, or at least where you expect them to be. And the big thing that's interesting about this race is obviously both runners are blindfolded, but that means they can't actually adjust their strats by looking to see how far ahead or behind they are. So. In right. general, you're going to see them probably employing fairly risky strats because they just don't know. All right, so now here we're here on Tyson. Now, the thing with Tyson, um, the big wall for this blindfolded was his first minute and 30 where he throws his uppercuts. Um, and a buffer strat was developed by Jack Wedge to um, basically minimize the risk here. Um, it's not 100%. You still might take one at the tail end. There's a very small chance that he'll throw an uppercut right at 130. Um, and they'll be in a blocking animation, so he won't actually go down. Now on Sinister's side here, uh, the reason for the reset was um, there was a, a soft lock in place. Um, basically a case of the one spin punch. Um, if he's um, hit at just the wrong time during that animation, basically the crowd in the background stops moving. And um, 
yep, you just the fight ends and you don't advance. So we yeah. had the reset and the password entered because well, you beat the fight. Yeah. So. And you're seeing Zallard in the difficult, more difficult part of round one with Tyson blindfolded is you have to duck to get these buffers to get these punches off, and it's really, really difficult to make those hits count. Okay. So Zallard's going to go to round two. He had himself a pretty solid war round one. Now round two is where it really counts, though. You absolutely positively really, really want to get him down in yes. round two, because in round three he goes insane, and in round two you can control his behavior to a certain degree. Yep. So at the start here, he's going to be blocking and counterattacking to get a bunch of star punches here. Got and Tyson at pretty low health already, so Zallard is in good shape to start this round, but yep. long and, ways uh, to go. The big thing with this one is um, the stamina, because uh, he goes into a very predictable counterattack when you run out of stamina. So it's dodge, get him down. Now, depending on his refill here, it's either these three star punches will be enough a very small percent of the time now they got the large refill. Large refill is the most common. Okay, Sinister also in pretty good shape here out of round one. Run out the stamina, dodge, dodge, nice. counterattack. Okay, so Zallard is one knockdown away from reaching off. Again, just to remind everyone, please wait and hold the applause till after both runners have finished. Zeller has a very good chance to end this in round two if he can finish off these strats. Yep. This is all very and, uh, scripted at this point. Yep, he's got the uh, blinking pattern at a minute 30, and with that there's a lot of damage you can put down on Tyson. It. It's almost over. Yep, it's almost there. And yep, Zeller is our winner. You don't know how bad I want to clap and jump down yeah, at the no, screen right now. Yeah, no, this is not fair at all. <laughs> but hopefully uh, Sinister doesn't keep us waiting too long because... Yep. He, He's coming in on his uh, second knockdown he here. <laughs> with the look of relief on his face. <laughs> Nicely done, sir. Nicely done. Congrats. All right. Doesn't look like Sinister's going to uh, be able to take advantage of the blinking pattern. Yeah, he, he skipped through it. Yep. Um, at the same time, with uh, the amount of health Tyson has, ooh. That stings. He could still round two, but the likelihood has gone down immensely now. Luckily, Sinister got a solid refill, so Tyson yeah. should be fairly low, but this is going to be close the if nice, he can get it done in round two. The actually, the nice thing about getting knocked down in Tyson is they have an immediate buffer for a star yep, afterwards, exactly. so it's easy to get right back in the game. Right. I'm pretty sure Sinister might have sat on that one if he knew where the health bar was at, but hey, blindfolded, so... Unfortunately, Tyson got a very strong refill, so this is going to be a tough uh, round two here. I'm not actually sure if there's enough time anymore. Well, there's another blinking pattern which he just skipped over, unfortunately, yeah. so it's going to be really tight. Got the star. Put him down. There we go. Give it up! Yeah! Fantastic work, gentlemen. They deserved every bit of that. Every bit of that. That was amazing. Yeah. It. They make it look easy, and it's not <laughs> at all, to say the least. And it was. That was incredibly close. Incredibly close. So. All right. One more time. Give these guys a round of applause. Let's go. Yep. That was absolutely fantastic. Holy cow.